Hi, you're watching Nerdy News on VideoGamesBlogger.com. I'm your host Laura and today I'll be filling you in on the latest in gaming news. According to Time Magazine, Minecraft creator and Mojang co-founder Marcus Notch Pearson is the second most influential person in the world. That's according to early voting for the publication's annual Time 100 rank. In the official poll, Notch received over 156,000 votes, saying that he should absolutely be included in the Time 100 list. Notch is second only to Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi. Readers were invited to cast their vote from a list of 100 people provided by Time Magazine. The final ranking was decided by Time's editors rather than the general public for pretty obvious reasons. It's notable that a video game developer was included in the Time 100 list at all, given the medium's relative lack of... At all? given the medium's relative lack of representation compared to other areas of art, technology, and entertainment that have long dominated the list. I sincerely hope that Notch's popularity in the early polls will show Time's editors once and for all that they should probably include more than one game developer on the next list. I have a theory that if two gamers meet who share a personal ranking of Final Fantasy games, it will tear a hole in the space-time continuum. Final Fantasy X is pretty up there on my list, but its sequel makes the story of Yuna, Tidus, and Spira one of the best in the series. So I'm pretty amped up for the HD releases of both X and X2, which will be released on the PS3 and PS Vita. In addition to graphical enhancements, both HD remasters are based on the international versions of the game, including extra bosses, dungeons, and other features. Also, a rumor has been circulating that Square Enix is planning to release some downloadable content for both of the games. Unfortunately, the DLC packs might, I say might, include international versions exclusive content, requiring gamers to buy the international edition packs for both games. I'm not embarrassed to admit that I was bullied when I was in school, even in high school. That's because I know being bullied may make a person feel alone, but it's an all too common occurrence in schools all over the world. I also know that being bullied did not make me a victim, but instead gave me the perspective I needed to stand up for other people and to empathize with their pain. The Adventures of Rubber Kid is a free flash game that is a short game but contains a valuable lesson. The hero, Rubber Kid, is the defender of underdogs everywhere and stands up to bullies. The art style reminds me of the Adventure Time cartoon, and the story is really adorable and has a great message. A link to play this game is in my article above this video. Now we humans are not satisfied with wasting hours of our lives shooting disgruntled birds at green piggies. We have to get our machines to do it too. The Java code from the last Angry Birds Artificial Intelligence Competition has been revealed. The competition is a variant on the Turing test, the idea that true artificial intelligence will be indistinguishable from human intelligence. Or maybe a little better. The Sydney tournament was organized by the Australian National University's Artificial Intelligence Group. Angry Birds was chosen to test just how far artificial intelligence has actually come. The competitors that performed the best will compete at the global finals in Beijing this August. They will have to come up with the perfect algorithm and can now use and modify last year's code now that it's free to download. Good luck to all the competitors and to our future AI overlords. How do you think developing AI will affect the gaming industry? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. That's all the news I have for today. Love and peace from my PC to yours.